watch you breathing And I hear you singing I feel your heartbeat And I know every pain that you feel it And I am the comfort when you are afraid I am the refuge when you call my Well, good morning, Old River. It is Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. And uh, as you know, last night our county uh, put a shelter in place order out. And uh, I just want to come to you today. Uh, first, let's talk about that for just a moment. Um, we, we have a lot uh, going on here in our county. We have uh, a whole lot of instruction. And for some, it's, uh, it's disheartening, it's different. Uh, yesterday I sat in one of our senior adult uh, members' homes, and they, we were talking, and they just said, we haven't ever experienced anything like this in our lifetime, and we've talked about that a lot, but here's the deal. It's here, and we have to deal with it, and so uh, I just want to be encouraging to you. Don't fear this. This isn't something that the government's trying to overthrow us. This isn't a, a problem. This is a effort to try to keep the virus from spreading as fast and from spreading when it doesn't have to. And so I want to encourage you, as a church, let's be supportive. Uh, Judge Jimmy and the rest of the, the uh, county staff and our governor, uh, we need to be supportive of what they're doing and try to help them with their efforts. Uh, many of us still have to go to work. I know many of you are part of the essential sector uh, that they deem during times of distress or disaster. And so you have to still go to work. I want to encourage you, do what they ask you to do. Go from home to work and work to home. Uh, if you don't have to be at work and you can work from home, make the best of it. Do what you can. And, uh, and for those uh, that need to get out for food or fuel or things like that, that's still allowed. So be very mindful, though, of what you're doing. I would encourage you to wash your hands frequently, as they've been asking, to use hand sanitizer if you don't have the ability to wash your hands immediately. Uh, don't touch your hands or face. Uh, make sure that you are social distancing, which is six foot apart from somebody else, because uh, it is serious. And uh, this isn't a United States or a Texas or a Mont Bellevue issue. Uh, this is a world issue right now. So make sure that you are doing that. And then I want to encourage you to uh, pray for our county officials. These orders are not easy to put out. They're not something that they find joy in. In fact, when you think about just the logistics and you also think about the long-term effects of people having to stay at home for 10 days or 14 days, uh, the reality is, is that the county will see the effects of that uh, in people's income, with values, with things like that. So uh, they're not doing this in any way to harm us. Uh, this is drastic. Uh, this is a drastic time and a desperate time and that calls for desperate measures. So please, as a church, let's be supportive of everything that they've asked us to do. Don't get out unless you have to. Uh, make a lot of phone calls and write notes to people. Make sure that you're checking on each other. Uh, tonight, our church leadership will have a Zoom call uh, talking about ways that we can stay connected. So I hope that uh, in the next few days, you'll be hearing more about that. Uh, here at the church, our staff has uh, really uh, toned down uh, our presence here. Uh, only essential personnel is, uh, are able to come up here. The office is closed during the, the week. Um, but what you can do is you can mail in anything that you need to mail in, or you can drop it through the slot uh, that is on the front door of the office. So please make sure uh, that if you have something you need to get to us and something that you need us to know, um, or if you need to drop off a, uh, any type of gift or anything like that, you can put it through the slot. And you can also contact me as I'm usually here around the church. Uh, let me know and I will make sure that we get that from you. So we're hoping that we can uh, maintain a level of new normal and we're going to try to do our best. So uh, please stick with us on that and, uh, and continue to pray. Uh, jumping into our daily word for today. Uh, we are called to be hearers and doers of the word. And, and Sunday we talked about James chapter 1 verses 2 through 12. We talked about how when we walk through a trial, we're supposed to count it joy because it's building us up to help us live life as a complete and trusting follower of the Lord that we wouldn't lack anything. 
Uh, and then we're called to ask God for wisdom of how to handle these things. Right now, godly wisdom would be to submit to the authorities that we're supposed to, that we would follow the Romans' teaching, that we're to be good citizens. And so that's wisdom from the Word of God right now, and we need to continue to walk through with that. I would ask you also that if you are uh, able to help other people around you, that you would be able to do that as we think about others and not just ourselves. But the Word of God in, in chapter 1 uh, continues on, and after he says, blessed is the one who remains faithful in the time of, tress, uh, the time of stress, and also doesn't blame God for the wrongs that are happening or for the inconvenience that is happening. Let's face it, this is a huge inconvenience. However, we can't blame God for that. Our world is a fallen world. There's so many things that play into what's going on right now. And then whenever we run through a trial in life, whether we feel it's a, a type of persecution or isolation from family, whatever it is, it's a, due to a fallen world that we deal with these things. And so not to blame God, but to continue to walk uh, hand in hand with the Lord, we are to remain steadfast. But I want you to remember this. Do not be deceived, brothers, uh, for every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. You see, God is still the same as He was the day before we had to start dealing with this, and we need to remember that. Of His own will, He brought us forth by the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of His creatures. And so, we have been given the truth, and we need to remain in that. But here's how we do that. Here's how we do it. Knowing we're going to walk through trials, knowing that we're going to have uh, uh, to ask God for wisdom, knowing that we are going to uh, find ways to blame it on other things, and even sometimes if we're not careful, reach out and lash out against God for problems that's going on in the world today. Uh, we have to be mindful that every good and perfect gift comes from God, and at the same time, we have an opportunity to shine His light. And how do we do that the best? Here's what verses 19 and following of James chapter 1 says. It says, Know this, my beloved brothers. Let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. You know, many people are worried about what this is and it's produced some anger. I've seen some comments online. I've heard some people say that they just think this is all a, a big hoax. I've heard them say that it's, it's a about takeover and the anger that's there, we need to make sure that we're not part of that, that we are not pushing forth that because it does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness and receive the meekness uh, of the implanted word, with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. Remember, meekness is strength under control. It's us knowing the truth and controlling how we act. It's controlling the power that God has given us to be a light to the world and not destroying that light by how we act. It says, but be doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word, but not a doer, he is like a man who intently, uh, who looks intently at his natural face in the mirror, but then he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he looks like. But the one who looks into the perfect law the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be a blessing in his doing. If anyone thinks he is religious, so if we think that we're doing okay, but does not bridle our tongue, but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. You see, it's about how we are responding and what we are doing right now. We don't want to be part of a worthless religion because you know what? Jesus isn't about a religion, he's about a relationship. And I hope that your relationship has been growing stronger by these times we can spend together, but, but more importantly, with your quiet time, time spent in His Word that we should be digging in every day. And we should know this, that the religion that is pure and undefiled before the, before the Lord is this, to visit orphans and widows in their infliction and to keep oneself unstained from this world. So I want to just remind you that today as you walk forward, be a person who is a hearer and a doer of the Word. Be a person who is rising above the stress that may be there. Let's encourage our county officials. I want to tell you, Old River Baptist Church today, if you know uh, Judge Sylvia, send him a quick prayer message, one that just says, we encourage you, we want you to know we love you, we, know that we want you to know we're behind you, and let us know how we can help and just send him that. Don't take up too much of his time. He doesn't need uh, that. He has plenty on his plate. 
Uh, and if you, if you have him as a friend on Facebook, encourage him through Facebook. Make sure that you are encouraging our county officials. That would include Heather, and it would include Brian, it would include uh, uh, um, all of the rest of the county staff. I would encourage you to reach out to Blake as he is our JP here, our commissioners. Uh, reach out to those who are trying to do their best to help us maintain what they can. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I look forward to seeing you again. And today is just another day closer to where I get to see you, hug your neck, and know, and, and we will be able to worship together. Have a wonderful day. See you soon. Cause I paid the price for you. And